Here are the best new features in the newest version of Chrome. Number five is all about cookie settings. You will be able to manage and delete cookies on a per site basis. Real short, cookies are used to track your web activity. They can keep you signed into certain sites or let you keep things in a virtual shopping cart. Before this new version of Chrome, you would have an all or nothing approach with deleting cookies. You could get rid of all of them for a time range or keep all of them. Getting rid of all your cookies means you'll be relogging into a bunch of sites you usually use. With this per site option, you can keep yourself signed into something like Amazon while getting rid of other trackers. Google is also updating how cookies work in incognito mode. Usually cookies are deleted when you sign out of an incognito session. With the newest Chrome, you'll have the option to block third party cookies while in that session. So you're not getting tracked within whatever you were doing in incognito mode. And number four is a new home for extensions. In the new version of Chrome, you'll see a little puzzle piece next to the URL bar. Now that puzzle piece is not a home for your virtual jigsaw collection. It's an easy way to get to your extensions. Now, why is this awesome? Here's why. Take a look at the old way to get to extensions. Head to preferences, then go under advanced and click extensions. Is that really simple? Not really. You could have also chosen the extensions option in the menu bar. A third option lets you find extensions under the more tools section. And yes, you could have bypassed all of those by typing chrome colon slash slash extensions in the URL bar, like we all do. It was not impossible to find the extensions menu in the past, but this little icon in the toolbar is in a really prominent spot in the new Chrome. That will make it much simpler to take care of whatever extensions you have. While we're here, check out your installed extensions. Get rid of any you aren't using. Sometimes they muck up performance. Just a tip from your friendly neighborhood IS man. Number three, we're looking at tab groups. If you use Chrome for any level of research, like comparison shopping, tab groups is going to turn into your best friend. Frequently, my tabs look like this. When I want to find a tab that I was looking for, I wind up clicking around, finding nothing, and then I end up walking away in frustration. I then remind myself it's not the computer's fault and not to throw it against the wall. Well, with tab groups, that insanity might be partially helped. Right-click a tab and set a group. Then you can right-click other tabs and add them to that group. Want a second group? Not a problem. There's even labels and color coding. Google even suggests using emojis for inspiration. I think that emojis would be good since a picture's worth a thousand words. Your tab groups are saved when you close Chrome. They pop back up when you come back. That's fantastic. I know this does not seem like much, but it will come in very handy. As an aside, if you want to organize your insane research sessions, I suggest the Chrome extension called Session Buddy. You can save your massive list of tabs, then close them. That frees up your RAM too. At number two is safety check. It can be a pain keeping up with the news to find out if one of the 8 million services you signed up for has been compromised. That's where safety check comes in. If you allow Chrome to remember your passwords, safety check will tell you if your passwords have been compromised. Not only that, it'll tell you how to fix them. That's handy. Sometimes when there are breaches, I wonder, do I have to do anything? Should I change my password just in case? Was I silly enough to reuse that password somewhere else? I hope not. Safety check to the rescue. If you end up at a site that is not on the up and up, Chrome will warn you that you are on a dangerous site. Are you about to download a dangerous app or extension? Safety check to the rescue. And if you had an extension that turned out to be evil all along, safety check will let you know and help you get rid of it. And the number one best new feature in the newest Chrome is enhanced safe browsing. This is an opt-in feature of new Chrome, but I think it's going to be very useful. And yes, I'm a fan of security. Here's what it does. If enhanced safe browsing is turned on, Chrome is going to check whether those pages you visit or whatever you're downloading are dangerous. This will happen in real time. If you're signed into Chrome, your Google apps will offer more protection when you're using Chrome. This helps fight against malicious downloads and phishing sites. Phishing sites are a real pain. They can look like the real thing and you run the risk of giving away sensitive information to some bad guy. Google says it will be adding more to the enhanced safe browsing feature, including warnings tailored to you. If you want to turn on the setting, head to privacy and security, then security and check enhanced protection under safe browsing. 
If you're looking for a good browser not named Chrome, check out this video right here. Remember to keep your apps updated. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online.